Hello, everybody. It's great to see everyone. Um, today is going to be a different type of video than I normally do. I'm going to be doing a product review on some Arteza products. I reached out to the Arteza company just before Christmas, um, hoping to get some glitter to try and some glitter ornaments, but it was rather close to Christmas within two weeks, so they didn't have time to send them beforehand. So instead of doing a Christmas ornament, we're going to do a different project and do a phone grip. So these are the products. They were nice enough to send me. I asked for just the glitter, and they offered to send me another product also free. Now this review is not paid for or anything. This is my honest opinion of the products. They just sent me the products for free. So this is the Neon and Brights 12 pack glitter set. Now I'm gonna show you up close of the boxes and that in a minute. I'm just showing you what the box looks like that they sent. And then I also got this iridescent Harmony Tones acrylic color set. So we're gonna use both of these products and make a project, but let's take a closer look at the pro products first. Okay, this is the first product. This is the Fine Glitter Neon and Bright 1.5 ounce each 12 piece set. Now it comes in this very nice box. And it shows on the back all the glitter colors it comes in, which is a nice selection. It has product information, the guarantee. If you join their club, you get 20% off. Helpful tips if you scan that. Now their website has a whole bunch of different projects and tips and everything. So if you want to go there for inspiration, I'll put their link in the description box. Now the set comes very nicely wrapped. I, the things fit in there just perfect. Turn it around. So these are the 12 different colors and they're really pretty. There's a silver, And they just have a name on them here, like a number. They don't have an official name. But that's pretty blue. Yellow. This white is really pretty. You'll see I made some stuff with that. I made a bunch so that you guys could see what they would look like. gold. Now this is the Brights and Neon set. They have another set that isn't so, um, what's the word I want to use? Bright, I guess. Like they have normal blues and greens and that. I just opted for these because I thought they would be pretty on ornaments and they also look fantastic on the phone grips I'm working on. These are like a metallic -y glitter. Look, really bright. Green. This is more like a rust, rust color. And then this really, really hot pink. I love this one. But I'm gonna leave those set out because we're going to be doing a project for them. But I want to show you a close-up. Now these lids come completely off. They have, these are really nice containers. They have a, a pour spout on one side, as you can see here, and a shaker side, like that. 
Now, I don't know about you, but I like to conserve my glitter, so I just use the back end of a paintbrush, and you can actually push this lid completely off. It just pops. There's a little lip here that you gotta get over. And then you can see the glitter in there. Now this glitter, compared to other glitters I've bought before, this is fine. Not their extra fine, but it really is, you can tell, very fine, which is nice for the project we're going to be working on. It's really pretty, too. So that is the glitter. I can't wait to show you guys what I made and show you how to make it. Okay, now the other thing I received, I'll put a new piece of paper down and hide the glitter, is this Harmony, it's an iridescent Harmony Tones acrylic paint set. And it shows you all of the different colors on the top which is really nice. And they got names on, and numbers on those. And then of course it has on the back here, again, where you could scan and go to their site, or there's a 20% off coupon if you scan this and join their club. Now I also have in the description box a 10% off coupon you can use if you order any of their products from this video but these are really nice they come in a box that just fits all the paints perfectly and these are really bright pretty colors too they got the fluorescence in here but let's go through and i'll show you this is Fluorescent Lively Pink. Refreshing Yellow. Now this isn't a fluorescent. I thought I put all the fluorescents to one side. Okay, Fluorescent Mystic Lilac. And this is Storm Purple. Edgy Saffron Orange. This kind of matches that rust color glitter that he had. Here, let's see. Yeah, those would go together. Uh, Precious Mint Green. Playful Blue. Fluorescent Dewy Pink. Rare Jade Green. Fluorescent Sour Yellow. Bewitched Autumn Red. Moody Blue. Glittering Ocean Blue. Zesty Orange. <clears throat> Lustrous Black. Luscious Green. Fluorescent Frosty Peach. Gentle Sunrise Yellow. Enchanted Blue. Groovy Turquoise. Okay, that's all the colors. Now, I wanna show you. These are a little thicker than I'm used to but not so thick that they're not good for dotting. They work wonderful and they leave like a more raised 
looked at than what I'm used to. Now these come really nice, but <laughs> I used them already. I'll show you in a minute what I made. But this is straight out of the bottle. You could really make a nice raised dot for your center dots in that. It's really creamy. As you can see. I really enjoy dotting with these. It really dots nicely. But I'm so excited to show you the projects I made with this. So uh, let's pull those out. Okay, so here are some of the foam grips I've made. Yes, I know there's a ton of them. I was doing a little trial and error to see how exactly I wanted to make these. But I mean, look at the glitter. It's just so pretty. And then with those paints, they work out really well. This one is my favorite one. It's so pretty. Now these I did with resin and a mold. So they're nice and thick on the sides. Now for those of you that don't like to use resin, I made this one with just the foam grip and triple thick. And it's got the glitter behind it and the paints over the top. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate this one today. If you guys want me to make a video on this one, I will. But really, I just used the triple thick and then shook the glitter on it, let it dry, did another layer of triple thick, shook more glitter on it, let it dry, then painted, and then triple thick over the top. And it turned out really, really nice. The edges are really nice. And I think it, it turned out really pretty. You can see the glitter in that throw. But we're going to work on one of these. I think maybe this one. This is the white one. You can see the glitter behind it. It looks so much prettier in person than it shows on the camera. But they're just so shiny and I like the thickness of this and so I've been working on making more of that kind but let's get into using the products and show you what that's like I will be right back I'm gonna get set up okay Now, I use art resin, as most of you know. So that's what we're going to use. If you need a more in-depth tutorial, there are some on my site, but it's just equal parts. And I'm going to use a half a teaspoon. Now, when I was using the one teaspoon, since you use equal parts, it would be two teaspoons and I could make three pop sockets out, or foam grips out of it. So using a half a teaspoon, it would get me like one and a half, which is fine because I just want to show you guys how to do the one. And so you just do equal parts. So a half teaspoon of resin and a half a teaspoon of hardener. And I'm going to fast forward through the mixing of this because this is not a resin tutorial. This is just a project tutorial. I add quite a bit of glitter 
because I like when they come out solid colored, like just all glittery. Now you gotta be careful with resin though, cause you don't wanna use more than like a third maybe of the glitter to the resin ratio. Cause if you get too much glitter in there, it won't set right. But I do like it to be pretty solid, so I kind of go a little overboard and hope for the best because I love the color of the glitter, and that's really what I want to see. So really, that's about all there is to it. Now, you can get art resin on Amazon, the same as the pop sockets and the molds if you're looking for them. Now here's the mold that I got. But you can get any mold, anything with a circle on it. I got it because I like the heart ones too. So then you just dump this in there. Such a pretty glitter color. And then I like to just not totally fill it. I don't know if you can see that well enough. And then I push it out to the sides because when you use the pop socket in here, it's going to add weight to it and push it out even more. And you don't want to overflow this cup. Okay, so. And I always torch it just a little bit to get the bubbles out. And then stick this in there. And then it comes perfectly to the edges. I don't know if you can see that. But I put it in this type of case because you want it to be dust free. So then you can just close it, let this sit overnight. And then that's done. And we have our beautiful glitter socket that we can go ahead and paint. So let's move on to that. Okay, I choose, chose to use the white just because I think it would be easier to showcase the paint colors with it. So let's start out with a number eight. Now, I traced the pop socket around, well, foam grip, whatever you want to call it. And then I folded a piece of paper in half twice and cut the center out just to get a nice center dot on there. And then I'm going to use this glittering ocean blue for my starting color. So I'm just going to center this circle over this pop socket and use a small one for my dot. And this is just to get my center. I just got a little teeny tiny dot on there. And now I'm going to take my number seven. And make my center dot. Now I'm going to move on to this precious mint green. And I'm going to use the number one. and make eight dots around that. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the number two. And I'm going to use this, I think. 
fluorescent lively pink. I'm going to just do another row around that. Now with the number two yet, I'm going to use this fluorescent mystic lilac. Now we're going to go back to the blue and use the number six. and do every other dot. Now using the two and the pink, I'm gonna make a, just a dot in the middle of each one of those. Okay, now I'm gonna go down to the number one with the pink and walk the dots down. Now I'm going to switch to the green and the number three and make a dot on top of the pink one. And then I'm going to switch to the number two and walk those down. Okay, now I'm going to go with the big Let's go with a big um, number eight in the purple. Now I'll list the colors in the video description so you guys know exactly what I use for this. And we're gonna make some big swoops. So I'm gonna go right in the middle and out to the edge. going to go down to the number four and I'm going to do pink ones to the sides of that. Okay, and now I'm going to go down to the number three with the blue one and do the same thing. just leave it at that. I really like the way that that looks. Look at how beautiful those colors are on that white glittering background. Okay, so let this dry oh four or five hours and then you can do a thin coat of resin over the top to protect it and you're all done. So I just want to give a huge thank you to Arteza for sharing these lovely, fantastic products with us today. So we can create some beautiful foam grips and lots of other products for inspiration on other products you can projects you can make with these products. Go to the Arteza site and check them out. I will have a link in the video description and a little card up in the corner over here I do believe that you can click and go to the Arteza site. Also remember there's a 10% discount code in the video description with also the links in that in case you missed the card. And as always thanks for watching guys if you're not a subscriber I'd love to have you and have a great day. See ya!